Remember when people used to call Golovkin a huge middleweight? <laughs> oh, you silly idiots. Look at Andre, right? Look at him at this at this way in. Massive, right? He was he was the small guy. How dare you have um wanted him to fight Golovkin, the big monster. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Seems like any time I make a video about David Benavides and mention how massive he is and he's basically naturally a cruiserweight. Somebody always gets into their feelings and wants to cry about it, right? And tells me how I don't know anything about boxing. Really? Really? Right? How do you suppose two, three, five, six, seven, eight division world champions happen in boxing? How do you, how do you suppose that happens? Hmm? Now, Benavides is not going to go through the weights like that because... He only has a few more he can go up into. And uh, no way will he challenge himself, in my opinion, uh, the same way someone like Pacquiao did himself, right? So this, you know, fucking look at him, right? It's, uh, ah, shit. Hopefully they don't take my video down. So this this was the ceremonial weigh in, right? These guys weighed in. I think I believe it was 10 a.m. I want to say, because it's Vegas, right? They do those early morning weigh ins with no press, right? Can you imagine what this dude must have looked like? And then they do these ceremonial weigh ins many hours later. Five, six, seven. I don't know what it was. It was many hours later, right? That's why Andre looks basically the way he's going to look on fight night. He's already filled in. He's already he's a smaller guy coming up and when he's already rehydrated, probably had a meal. He'll he'll probably put on a few more pounds, but it won't be noticeable, right? It won't be visible. Cuz the anyway, Benavides for his part, right? Weighed in just as long ago as Andre had all this time to drink all the water he could, eat as much as he could, right? And he still looks like death. Look at him. Cheeks, eyes sunken in, right? His temples are all sunken in. Skinny as shit. I mean, the dude's burning up muscle, right? He's with snack, isn't he? Is it Snack or is it uh, Snack Jr., right? Angel, Hernandez, Memo. One of them, right? Probably both of them. Who knows? You know how fat people, because they have to, well, carry all that weight their whole lives, right? When they When they lose the weight, they're usually... When they burn up the fat, right, they're usually bulky and, and muscular and shit. Not David. Right? He had to burn up the muscle, too, to make the weight. That's why he looks all weird and funny. And yeah, that's kind of his build, too. I get it. But you'll see. You'll see when this dude, right, fights in his natural weight division cruiserweight. You'll see what he looks like, right? That muscle will fill in. He'll, he'll finally look healthy. Maybe, at 175, he'll probably look a lot better and then he'll look like Andre right if he chooses to actually go up to cruiserweight then he'll just look like Andre just much taller and heavier obviously this idea that a guy how old is he 26 or something like that right that this is his natural weight division or something like that he's not a weight bully it's just ridiculous look at look at fucking Tommy Hearns right a little bit shorter than him, longer arms than Benavides went all the way from welterweight, right? They fought below the welterweight limit, weighed in below the welterweight limit, and fought all the way up to cruiserweight. Not the full cruiserweight limit, but that's 40 pounds, 
right? 40 pounds. Look at a more recent example. Um, Surdo Ramirez went all the way up from 160 to... He's, he fought at cruiserweight his last fight. Not the full limit of cruiserweight, but that's, you know, almost 30 pounds. So from 168 to 200, how much is that? <laughs> 32 pounds? Big fucking deal. Pacquiao moved something like 40 plus pounds. A little Pacquiao. And look at this dude. Of course he's a cruiserweight right now. This man walks around fit. He probably walks around starving himself, right? Watching his diet. Doing a whole bunch of cardio. Right? Staying in shape. Burning up muscle. Taking all kinds of muscle burners. Right? This man's probably walking around at 205. And then to make it all the way down to 168 or 7, right? He fucking basically has to fight in Vegas, get that early morning weigh-in, so that he could somewhat healthily bounce back. And on fight night, he's probably going to be 190. Easy. If not more than that. Probably be close to 200 on fight night. We hear of these MMA fighters doing 30, 35, 40 pound weight cuts. And they don't have all this time he has. And anyway, whatever. People don't know shit about boxing. This dude is massive, right? And it could backfire at some point, but no, he's got the right pharmacologist behind them and, and he's got the money behind them. Like, they're going to do what they can and they're going to move intelligently, right? So, yeah, Andre doesn't have much chance in this fight. Because he's not that skillful and he's fighting a guy that's naturally two divisions bigger than him. Right? It is what it is. And young enough to be able to drop the weight. And be somewhat healthy on fight night. Anyway. Yeah. This dude had, what, eight hours to hydrate back up? And he still looks like this? Jesus, <laughs> this is not natural, people. This, this, this ain't natural. Of course it's not. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching.